authorities in Washington are working with the FBI on a hate crime case involving several suspects in a bar brawl last weekend. Now, we found out one of those suspects already has a violent history here in Portland. The rec room bar in Linwood, Washington, exploded into a violent brawl just after midnight Saturday. There was a, a very aggressive group um, directing their aggression towards one individual. The victim was the DJ, an African American man who was allegedly beaten by several suspects as they reportedly shouted racial slurs and threats. Tuesday, those suspects appeared in court, their attorneys each denying their affiliation with any hate group, but investigators believe otherwise. According According to the Southern Poverty Law Center, which tracks hate groups, two of those suspects are known white supremacists, and a third, 23-year-old Daniel Dorson, is known for a violent past here in Portland. We're I'm guilty of this if I'm in my own. Five years ago, Dorson attacked a 70-year-old employee of the Portland Outdoor Store, viciously beating him over the head with a skateboard. In court then, Dorson admitted he wanted to seriously hurt the victim, but also refused to apologize. At the time, Dorson was believed to be a homeless teenager. Police called him a street kid. And Randy Blazak, chairman of the Coalition Against Hate Crimes, says it's possible that allowed hate groups to target him in prison. They're vulnerable when they're in prison. And so white supremacist prison gangs will adopt them uh, and protect them. For many, there's an understanding that once you're released, you will continue that ideology outside. Eight people are facing charges for Saturday's attack, including Dorson, who's charged with harassment, fourth-degree assault, and malicious harassment, a felony hate crime.